Hi, I'm Darren from Isotonic Studios. Welcome to our sixth module app video guide. In this one, we'll be looking in depth at the envelope module and how to create completely custom envelope shapes. To start things off, here's a small idea that we'll be working with. This filter cutoff will be controlled with our envelope. I've already built a simple module app patch to do that. Entering the custom output mode using this button, the module will output its position within the stage of the envelope. Let's monitor it so that we can see it happening in real time. We can do whatever we want with this information, but the most useful thing to do is probably to insert a function module. I've already prepared one over here. I'm gonna connect the envelope to the first function input. This means we can now see the different envelope stages on the X axis here at the bottom. The attack phase is happening between zero and one, the decay phase between one and two, and finally the release phase goes from two to three. The envelope module ensures correct timings as long as our shape fits within these ranges. Without the sustain mode, the release phase starts straight away as soon as the decay phase ends. The upside of a setup like this is that we can now use all of the added functionality that the function module provides. This includes quality options and the use of other units, but most importantly, the ability to switch between different shapes. We could simply automate this number, or even better, modulate it with other modules. How about a step sequencer, or simply an LFO? There are tons of options, but let's keep it simple and just randomizing it using the noise module. I'm going to use the MIDI input to trigger a new random value to choose between any of the four envelope shapes. The noise module outputs floating point values, but luckily the function module will round them internally. <laughs> Now that sounds a bit too random for my liking. Uh, how about using a counter module instead? Let's set it to count trigger impulses and use the MIDI input again so that we'll count the MIDI notes. And finally, let's set it to restart after four so that it uses all four shapes one after the other. One trick I like to use is to compensate for the attack phase. Uh, Let's say you have a 30 milliseconds long attack, use a minus 30 millisecond delay to shift the modulation in time. Okay, 
Now the decay phase starts right where the note starts. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. We just released this as a free update to Modular, so make sure to download it from your user account at isotonicstudios.com. Stay healthy. See you next time. Cheers.